You'll find them gathering dust in basements, garages, and back rooms all across the state. Those once cutting edge electronics made obsolete by the newest, latest technology. They came in cars, vans, and trucks. Opportunity to get rid of some hard drives and monitors and printers <laughs> that we've had in our basement for ages. A steady stream of old tube televisions, obsolete computers, and all manner of worn out, broken, unwanted electronics. Large, and not so large. I need some help. It's all he had, but he, had, he was kind enough not to just throw it out in the environment. He brought it here where to get disposed of properly. We'll take all these trailers back to Cincinnati, take it to our processing center. We'll put it through the uh, shredders, shred the equipment, send metals in one direction, aluminum in another direction, gold and uh, precious metals into another direction. They all go to smelters. Jim Cordes is with 2TRG, the recycling company that's handling the disposal from today's event. The monitors, we have to cut the glass, send leaded glass to a smelter that is uh, certified to process the lead in the glass. Uh, clean glass will send to a different smelter. Um, green boards that are in computers, we'll take that and uh, smelt that down to get the metals off of that. We're one of the few companies in the area that is, are certified to be an e-steward. And that's a national organization that is above and beyond EPA regulated uh, recyclers. So we make sure that nothing gets exported over to other countries, nothing goes into landfills. So everything is reclaimed as the equipment. And that's important because these devices contain things like mercury, lead, and other hazardous materials. Things that, if not properly handled, could escape into the environment. We know for a fact that they're going to the right place. They're going to the proper places. They're not going over a hillside. Turnout for this year's event was down from last year, but organizers say that's not a bad thing. State law actually requires waste haulers to pick up televisions and computers and landfill operators to hold them until they can be hauled off by a qualified electronics recycler. Although that sometimes involves a surcharge. And organizers say many consumers are taking advantage of that. Greg, these free events are still quite popular. About 30,000 pounds of electronics were hauled off from this one. For Environment Matters, I'm Sarah Alford.